Now in lab number two, what you're going to find is you'll find this, a link to this file here so you can download it and work with it. And uh, you'll find also links to lab 2a, embed OS 5, and embed OS 6 as well. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our next one here. We're going to right mouse click and we're going to say set active project. And this time if we take a look at it, you can see that we're running in this case embed OS 5. It's exactly the same code, but notice besides being able to generate a bin file by building the project and by running the project, we also have a new thing here where we can debug the project. Now we can't debug using Embed OS 2, but we can debug using Embed OS 5 and Embed OS 6. So if we click on here, it's building Lab 2A Embed OS 5. We're going to see some messages coming up over here. And it's preparing to run, but it's going to give us our traditional ability to set breakpoints and to step into and step over code as we'll see. So it's verifying our flash download, disconnecting from device, and when you finally see this arrow coming up here, you know we'll be able to start actually going through our code step by step and seeing what's going on. So we're going to use the step over, and right now it says input equals get C standard in. So if we hit this, it's going to halt here uh, because it's waiting for input. So I'm going to click on our screen here and I'm going to type in a capital letter X. And you'll notice right now that under variables we can see what was typed in from the keyboard is our capital letter X. Now notice nothing has come to the screen here because we have not put character to the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to step over that and uh, right now it says put character but nothing has shown up to the screen. And we definitely know that the, the character that we've got is an X, not a 0D. So let's step over again. And until we do the F flush, we see our character finally showing up here. Because putting a character the standard output buffer does not send it to the screen immediately, you have to flush the standard out buffer for it to actually show up on the screen here. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trace again. And again, it's halted, waiting for me to type in another character. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to hit the Enter key. And right now you can see that this is 13, which is a 0x0d in hex. This is our decimal value here. So if we go ahead here, it says, is it a 0d? Indeed it is. So it's going to put character besides the 0d. It's going to put character 0a, which is our line feed. And it moves us down to the next line here. So carriage return puts us back to the start of the same line and a line feed moves it down. So what we find is OS 5 works exactly the same way as OS 2, but the nice thing about it, and if we click on our little red button here and go back to here, it does give us one extra feature that OS 2 does not give us, which is the ability to debug and go through step by step in setting breakpoints. Lab 2A embed OS 6 and we're going to then set active project and watch what happens when we do set active project down here when we've set active project here it actually tells us which version of embed os we're running and it happens to be embed os 6.16.0 at the making of this video now if we go down here to main now notice that there's different code here it says input equals get c standard in put character input standard out and F flush standard out. There's none of this if it's a 0D, make it a 0A. And you'll see why, because there are differences between embed OS 5 and embed OS 6. And again, what we'll see is we can still generate a bin file, we can run it, and we can troubleshoot it. So we're going to go to the debug part here. And currently it's building it, it's deploying it to run, and it's erasing our flash and programming our flash verifying the flash download, disconnecting from debug unit, and when again when we get our arrow up here then we know we can actually trace through our code. Now let's just run our code first. Let's just hit the run button. And if we go up here, hi there, how are you? You hit enter. Notice it goes to the start of a new line without having to check for a zero D. Let's first of all pause our code here and hit our reset here. And we're back to our code here. So let's go through this step by step and let's take a look. So input equals get C. So again, it's waiting for us to hit a character. So I'm going to hit capital letter O this time. Put the character, still nothing until we have flush. And there's our capital letter O. Next thing I'm going to do up here is I'm going to hit the enter key. So I'm going to click here and hit enter. Now notice this time it's a zero A 
hex or 10 decimal. It's not a 0D. So there's a big difference between how enter keys are interpreted in OS 5 and OS 2. It's a 0D, which is a 13, but when you're using OS 6, it's a 0A, which is a 10, which is a line feed. And the thing is with a line feed, what it does is right away it puts you to the start of the next line. So you don't need a carriage return line feed. A line feed by itself will make it do that with OS 6. So let's go through here again, and you can see that right away it dropped down here even before we have flushed. It's on our next line here. So the difference is here between these various systems. Let's go back to, let's kill us with a little button here. So if we take a look at the differences we've got here, if we go to here and make this the active project and open this up, you can see that, uh, again, it's got only the ability to generate a bin file and run it. If we make this the active project here, It'll even show us the version of OS 5 we're running, which is 5.15.7, but allows us to generate a bin file, run it, and debug. And uh, you'll find that this works exactly the same as uh, if we look at our code again. Let's go back to main.cpp. This works the same in embed OS 2 and embed OS 5. The only difference is you can actually add debug here. But when you go to OS 6, and uh, what you're going to find was when you set that active project and you take a look at it, we don't need that much code to generate everything that we want to do. We can basically not have to worry about a carriage return line feed because every time you hit the enter key, it's a line feed, not a carriage return that comes in, which will indeed put us on the start of the next line like a backslash end.